everyone. Today we're going to learn about the five anxiety disorders that you may encounter in your psych rotation. Now, what are these five anxiety disorders? Well, they include generalized anxiety disorder, also known as GAD, phobias, both specific and social, panic attacks, OCD, and PTSD. Now let's dig a little deeper into each one of them and talk about their characteristics. So generalized anxiety disorder is a constant state of worry about most things on most days. In order to diagnose generalized anxiety disorder, it should be present for more than six months and should include three or more of uh, somatic symptoms, including irritability, weight changes, concentration difficulty, and sleep changes. So that's generalized anxiety disorder. Basically you're worrying about everything constantly, worrying about your house, your kids, how to get to work, everything. It's a constant state of worry that's going to affect your life. Now how would you treat generalized anxiety disorder? Psychotherapy is the best treatment for generalized anxiety disorder. You may give uh, drugs such as SSRIs to help these individuals, but the best treatment for generalized anxiety disorder is psychotherapy. Next, let's talk about phobias. Now, what are phobias? They're exaggerated, irrational fear. We all have a fear. However, these fears are both irrational and exaggerated. Phobias are subdivided into specific and social. Specific phobias include fear of spiders, fear of height, fear of clowns. You need to treat specific phobias with cognitive behavioral therapy. One is flooding, which is a quick but not so effective method where you are basically overwhelming the individual with that fear so that they overcome it. However, the other is desensitization where you slowly expose the individual to their fear so that eventually over a period of time they overcome that fear. Now what about social phobias? Social phobias include public speaking or using public restrooms. For phobia of public speaking, you can use labetalol for treatment. However, for most general social phobias, you would use um, cognitive behavioral therapy, same as specific phobias. Okay, next. Now, panic attacks. What are panic attacks? Well, the way you can remember panic attacks is by the acronym PANICS. P for palpitations or paresthesias, A for abdominal pain or distress, and for nausea, I for an intense fear of death, C for chest pain or chest tightness, and S for shortness of breath. So remember panic attacks by the acronym PANICS. And basically what you want to rule out in panic attacks is a um, heart attack, a, a myocardial infarction. So you would want to order an EKG and troponin. Um, and in order to rule out a MI, you would also want to rule out asthma, any thyroid problems, so you want to get a TSH and do a um, urine tox to rule out drugs. Treatment of panic attacks includes benzos to abort the panic attack and uh, SSRIs to control the panic attacks in a long-term basis. And you may also augment therapy with psychotherapy. Now let's talk about obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder is basically, it consists of obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are thoughts that are intrusive, that are anxiety provoking. Whereas compulsions are actions that are anxiety reducing. For instance, somebody may have uh, obsessions about contamination, so then their compulsions would be to constantly wash their hands. Obsessive compulsive disorder is ego dystonic, meaning that the patient is aware that their obsessions are irrational. However, in order for them to reduce that anxiety, they have to go about their compulsions. Whereas OCPD, or obsessive compulsive personality, personality disorder, that is ego syntonic. The patient is unaware that their actions are abnormal. How would you treat OCD? Well, you want to give SSRIs and you can also use cognitive behavioral therapy such as desensitization. Lastly, let's talk about PTSD. PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder is defined as experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event such as combat, rape, or murder. Now, these individuals are going to show the following four things. Anhedonia, meaning lack of interest or no interest. 
They're going to also be hypervigilant, meaning they're easily startled. They're also going to avoid certain situations that will provoke that anxiety, that will remind them of that event. And lastly, they're going to have flashbacks. Now, in order to diagnose PTSD, it has to be for more than a month. These symptoms have to be present for more than a month. Now, what if it's not present for more than a month? What if it's for only two weeks? This would be called acute stress disorder. How would you treat PTSD? You would treat it with psychotherapy. You may augment it with SSRIs and benzos, but mainstay treatment for PTSD is psychotherapy. So let's recap. What did we talk about today? What did we learn today? We learned about the five anxiety disorders that you may encounter in your clinical rotation, especially in your psych rotation. These five anxiety disorders are generalized anxiety disorder, phobias, panic attacks, OCD, and PTSD. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in for more great videos.